Hello and welcome everyone in section 2 of this course. In the first lecture, I start by introducing the concept of support and resistance trading. Whether you are a beginner or experienced trader, I expect you to pay attention to this lecture as this information will help you to gradually build into the later parts of this course. Therefore, I do not advise skipping any of the information provided in these early lectures. Now, to understand support and resistance, let us first understand how markets work. As we all know, the changes in market price, whether you are trading in stocks, commodities or forex, are a result of constant battle between buyers and sellers. The bulls or the long traders always push the prices higher, whereas the bears or the short traders push prices lower. We also know that the price only travels in three directions, upwards, downwards or sideways. Interestingly, all markets spend more time trending sideways instead of moving up or down. Irrespective of the time frame, this sideways price movement results in the formation of price support and price resistance. Price support is also known as price floor, where price reaches and bounces upwards within the sideways price movement. On the other hand, price resistance is called price ceiling, where price is pushed lower. Insiders or market professionals often use these price congestion zones as a build-up for the next big move in the markets. A price can oscillate many times between support and resistance before the trend either continues or reverses. Guys, larger the time price spends within a support and resistance area, larger the following price move will be. This extended sideways price activity represents the levels of fear and greed of traders in that particular price reason. You will learn more about the psychology of traders later in this lecture. You will also learn how support and resistance price zones from the past become key technical levels to watch out for in the future. Therefore, as an experienced trader, you are only looking for three key things. And these are also the three key things you will learn in this strategy and in this course. Identify the start of this sideways price activity on any security. Taking advantage of buying and selling opportunities available within this sideways price activity. Finally, identify the breakout to capture the large buying or selling climax once this sideways price activity ends. As we progress systematically in this course, you will learn these key things in this course and you will also be able to implement them in your trading straight away. Let us look at a diagrammatic representation and couple of examples to understand what we have studied in this lecture. Guys, in this first example, we are looking at Australian dollar, US dollar daily charts to understand the basics of support and resistance. Now, starting from this price low where the red arrow is, you can see that this forex pair has enjoyed a very nice rally in price in recent past. Next step is to label the obvious sideways price activity on this pair. This is our first price movement sideways as you see here. 
Similarly, I will label the remaining price activity on this chart. The key thing to note here is that sideways market activity is clearly visible with the naked eye, so do not stress yourself too much while labeling them. If it is not obvious, it's not there. Now I will switch to one lower time frame to zoom in on the selected price areas. Guys you will notice here that price showed very less or no violation of high and low of these price zones. This is because the buyers and sellers are most active at these price zones. I will teach you how this sideways price activity offers high probability trade opportunities when correctly studied. Now that we understand how our sideways price activity looks in an uptrend, let us understand the support and resistance in each of these. As we all know, resistance is called ceiling whereas the support is called the floor of the sideways price activity. The final thing I want you to notice here is that how price moved sharply once this support and resistance consolidation phase ends. This attribute is linked to all markets on all time frames because the market pauses during this consolidation phases before it advances either in the direction of the previous trend or it reverses to start a new trend. Now let us quickly study support and resistance in a downtrend. Guys, we're looking at US dollar, Canadian dollar daily charts. From this price high, you can see that the overall trend is a downtrend as we speak. Once again, I will label all the clear sideways price movement on this pair. I will quickly switch to one lower time frame on MetaTrader 4 to see how price candles respected the boundaries of sideways price movement. Similar to the previous example, I will label the support and resistance on this pair.
Finally, look how the trend continued after these first three consolidation phase. After all, price can only break out to continue the original trend or the price reverses to initiate a new trend. Guys, this also concludes this lecture. This is all you need to know for the time being. Please understand these basic concepts of support and resistance trading carefully before we advance ahead to study choosing the right time frame to make consistent profits using this strategy.